Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode of the week ahead we've got Sharbin, ITV Racing, Extra Places, um, Anthony Joshua on Saturday, the Ryder Cup Golf, uh, the Russian Grand Prix, Formula One and EFL games on this week. So if you get any value from this video please like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. But this week ahead series is probably the worst time of the year to start one of these. But this will be in full flow by the time the sport truly kicks into gear when you're talking about the Marches, April, May, Junes, Julys and Augusts. But during the week, I'll be looking to Sharp. If you haven't seen my Sharbin videos, I've recently posted a few videos about Sharbin, etc. And I've been nipping into the shops. Um, as you can see from this image, that um, you can do two ups in a paddy shop. I know they've got awful prices there. But you can sometimes get a free £2 bet voucher with a £10 bet on football. If the close matches are quite close, it's worth having a pop. Now, I mean, some of you guys out there that have got multiple Bet365 accounts and still got your hands on accounts, you're probably thinking, I don't need to mess around with rubbish like this. But wait until you gubs, you might have a different opinion then. The shops are useful for extra places. The shops are useful for taking prices. You can go on the SSBTs, the terminals, you don't have to have to see the staff in some of the shops. So the SSBT sometimes have not got the same prices as the shops. Paddy Power sometimes they haven't got the prices the same as on the SSBTs. But in the Paddy Power shops you can get the flash odds, not the flash odds, what are they called? Power boosts, power prices, the extra places. You can smash the extra places in the shops. So I mean, like I was saying. It is inconvenient doing sharpening unless you're someone who can interlink it with your um, weekly activities. Like for myself, it's a bit inconvenient because I work from home and I have to make a special trip. So now I only do the sharpening when it suits me. I try and like go to the gym and then go afterwards to go to do the sharpening. Obviously, if you sat in there all day, you'd be able to pick up all the boost offers and all of that in the likes of Betfred and stuff like this. But I like the fact that you can just smash extra places and things like that. So the week ahead series, you can see on my best bookie site, I'll be printing this, printing it, what's it called? Publishing this every week. My Arb Hunter Pit Bet site, I've got four match betting calculators on here, a rule four calculator, a two up calculator there, each way calculator, and this one's a fractions to decimals calculator. So kicking off the week ahead, We've got the EFL Cup on Tuesday tomorrow. So we've got 10 games on the Tuesday. We've got a League 1 game and a League 2 game. On Wednesday the 22nd, we've got 6 EFL games. So, of course, if you've still got your bet 365s, you can do all your stuff with them. The Golf Rider Cup is starting on the 24th on Friday. This has usually got some offers attached to it. As usual, USA are favourites slightly over Europe. And then on Saturday the 25th, we've got Mr. Muscles Anthony Joshua fighting against Yuzik. And yeah, he should win that. But you know, after what happened with John Ruiz in 2019, you never know. I mean, I respect Anthony Joshua massively for what he's achieved in his life and the role model that he is for young children, especially the background Anthony Joshua come through. But as I used to be a fighter, and I know what fighters' mindsets are like, I think that he's not a true fighter. He hasn't got the warrior spirit. When Ruri's put the pressure on him, he turned his back. I'm still a Joshua fan, but I don't think he'll be able to beat um, Fury. Tap away in the comment section, guys, if you don't think. If you think Joshua will beat Fury. Years ago, before Joshua turned his back on Ruri's, Joshua was around a one to two favourite to um, beat Fury if they had met then, and now the odds have uh, reversed the, the other way round. Either way, both of them men I respect massively. So on the Friday the twenty fourth, if you like your greyhounds, we got the Puppy Cup semi finals that day. Uh, the one to two favourite is Brookside Richie in that game. Saturday ITV race times. I've got them all listed here. It's on ITV4 on Saturday. And these are all the Premiership games. We've got two kicking off at 12.30, four at 3 o'clock and one at 5.30. 
Sunday, there's two games there. Southampton v Wolves, Arsenal v Spurs. Whoa, that might have some offers on it. That one, the big rivalry, North London rivalry. And then on Sunday, we've got the Russian Grand Prix. So what I suggest, guys, is a bit of a dull week. Like, like I said, um, September is winding down as regards sporting activities compared to like your May, June, July kind of times. Um, March is our kind of time. We we like that because obviously because of Cheltenham. But um, if you like, if you have been gubbed, always take into account that you can go into the betting shops. Check out these videos, guys. As I said, please subscribe because I'll be posting regular videos out and hit the newsletter for some updates because I'll be updating a lot of things soon and also if you're not following me on twitter i'm at arbor hunter i did a video the other day about duplicate accounting and the next video on wednesday will be about everyone's favorite topic i'm not going to say um anyone who's into trading this horse here got done 1.01 .01. it's crazy isn't it so if you laid that for 100 pounds to lose risk losing a pound you would have won 100 pound there some of these um there's more than there's so many of these get beaten every week you wouldn't believe but i don't know whether it's a profitable statistic it used to be i remember i was on betfair radio 11 years ago and they were saying that the odds of it a 101 getting beaten was at that time 1.02 um but i doubt if it is now what if all the bots and stuff nowadays anyway guys hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in wednesday's video